Good morning, guys. Johnny Lardish here, Power Up 365. And how are you guys doing this morning? It is a great morning. I just had a great Power Up session with a company. And I want to speak about value today. A lot of people are going after the deal. They're going after, I need new clients. I need sales. I need new business. But I want to speak to you guys about value once you get the business. You see... You need to understand that you only make money by providing value to your client. And everything in business is sales. We get that. So that means we have to go and do sales. I get that, right? I teach that. Without sales, you don't have an income. You don't have a business. I get that. The question is, what happens after you've done the sale and you are doing the revenue, but there's no value. And this is the most difficult um, part, I think, of a consultant, of an accountant, of a lawyer, of any business. Even businesses with products. Because if that product is no longer adding value, you need to ask yourself, you need to get feedback. The market will give you feedback. The market will give you feedback. So, if people aren't happy anymore, they're not willing to pay the price and that, then you've got to ask yourself, anytime someone's not willing to pay the price for what you are charging, anytime that happens, that means he feels that the value you are giving and what he's getting is not worth it, right? And you've got to ask yourself, one, am I really getting value? You know, a lot of times I... I go into clients and I believe I am the best at what I do. I don't believe there's no one in this world that is better doing what I do in businesses. I'm a success strategist. I go into businesses. I turn them around. I have an accounting firm that goes and does the numbers of the firm. I do believe I'm the best. But a lot of people can look at that and say, but that guy is arrogant. Let me ask you this. Would you want a guy... To be consulting in your company, would you want a person, a lawyer, to providing you legal services? Do you want a guy that to providing you a service or product that, that believes he's not the best? Then you need to go and get the best. That's why I believe I am the best at what I do. But to earn that right to believe that you are best, you've got to understand value. And value is about am I adding the value that I need to add to this client. You've got to be honest with yourself. You've got to listen to the client. You've got to look at what you're charging and what the client is getting. This, this whole thing that you need to have one price, a price list and one price for every single client, it doesn't work really because it depends all on the value that you are bringing to that client. So I believe on a value price list. What is the value I'm bringing to that client? So let me get to my point. Once you've got the sale, once you've got the client, once you're doing revenue, once a guy's paying you, there comes a time when you've got to assess every single client relationship. And why do you need to assess that client relationship? You need to assess it if you ever want to get more business from that client. Let me explain. If you've got a client that you've been doing business for two years or three years or one month or two months, doesn't matter, and you helped him get where he wants to get. A lot of times I go into businesses to turn them around. I build up a strategy for the business. I go in and um, I get their books right. I get their systems right. I get their operations right. But then I've got to ask myself, am I still valuable to that company? And if you are not valuable, it doesn't matter how confident I am. It doesn't matter that I believe that I'm the best. I might have done what I needed to do. And now I'm no longer valuable in that business. Now I have to reassess the relationship. You've got to always reassess the relationship. Always. And at times that means you've got to terminate your services. Because if you don't terminate your services up front when you realize you're no longer adding value and he's paying you for a fee, but you're not adding value, you're actually ripping the guy off. You're actually taking his money. Second thing you've got to ask yourself, am I still good for this company? Am I still good for this company? I can have all the confidence I want in what I do, but maybe what I do is no longer necessary. Second thing is, 
You've got to ask yourself the culture of the company. Do I fit with this company? I've changed and I've grown. Do I still fit with this company? Is my goals and my vision and my mission still aligned to this company? Do we still fit with this company? Those are the things you've got to ask yourself. Let's just say you're not honest with yourself. I believe you're doing a disservice to your client. Do you really want to burn that bridge? Because maybe one of these reasons are true, but they are true now. That doesn't mean they're going to be true tomorrow. And what happens if you do go to a client and say, listen, man, you're paying me for this money. I'm not, um, I, I don't see that this company can afford it, or I don't see that I'm adding the value to this company anymore. I think I should... You can either find someone else who can do it cheaper and get the something that's done. But cheaper doesn't mean better. But under the circumstances, might, that might be the right thing. That might be the right thing because you've paid the fees to set up your companies. You've paid the fees to set up the structures. You've paid up the fees to get where you want to get to. Now you might not need such a a technical uh, advisor or you might just need someone to, to be doing processing and you can get that for cheaper. You need to give that to the client. You need to give that advice to the client. And that doesn't matter if you lose. Doesn't matter if you lose. Because you're doing the best thing for the client. And as long as you're doing the best thing for the client, you will always win at the end. Doesn't mean that you that you go, you say, guys, listen, you, we're going to terminate now. It doesn't mean you're not going to get the business later. I believe the client's going to respect you more. He's going to respect you more because you're putting his business first. You always got to put his business first. That's what you got to do. The business comes first because if you put the business first, the business looks after everyone else. That's just how it works. So if you're not adding more value to the company, you got to fire yourself. That's how it is. You gotta fire yourself in order to be a man of your word in the marketplace. In order when a company hires you, they know they will they will hire you and you will add value. And as soon as you add no value, you will terminate your contract because you're not adding more value and it's not the best thing for the company. When you are no longer the best thing for the company, you shouldn't be part of that company. And now this is hard for some of you to hear. But it's the right thing to do. And when you do the right thing, the universe rewards you with more and more and more. You know, I wish you guys could, I could say you guys could tr trust me on this, but I don't believe in that. I believe, test me on this. Go be honest with your clients. Disclose the value that you're giving to your clients. And if you're no longer valuable to your clients, maybe it's time to move on. Don't be scared to terminate a contract of yours that has no value. Don't, don't look at the income you're getting. Because if you keep looking at the income you're getting in order to keep the contract, you will lose your reputation and you will lose your self-respect as someone in the marketplace. You no longer can say, I'm the best at what I do because you only put yourself first. And when you put yourself first, you can't be the best. When you are providing a service or a product to a client, you must make sure that you are providing value. And as soon as you're no longer providing value, terminate the contract. That is what I believe in, and that's my advice to all of you today. So guys, with that, have a great day. Go out there, assess your business relationships with your clients. Go out there and assess, are you giving value to your clients, customers, with a product or service that you're providing. And if you're not, maybe it's time to move on. There's another client, there's another customer out there waiting for you to provide services. Guys, there's no shortage of money in this world. There's no shortage of money. There will always be someone looking for your product or service as long as it's one of value. Thank you very much. Johnny Liotis here. I'll see you guys at the top. Cheers.